far that far. You see over there, that's where they have the flea market. Getting up to the park. Just turn it that way. Barnett Park. Now, this park has been remodeled since I used to come as a child. We're going to park and just walk and talk, I guess. Before we get to talking, I'm going to go to the restaurant. I will be right back. So here's the little bathroom here. I'll meet you guys when I come out. Okay, guys, so we are out at the park, Barnett Park. Um, one thing that you probably already know, or if you didn't know, you probably figured out, is that me, myself, my family as well, but me, myself, we love to be outside. We're outside type. Um, for me, I don't know if it's because I'm an artist or what, but outside just centers. See, here's the recreation and gymnasium. See, it's a big facility. This park is one that I used to come to with my sister. Um, my sister that just passed. My mother also used to love to come here. Um, let me go ahead and walk towards the park. I just was showing you this. I think they have a gym inside. Like you can actually join the membership and all of that stuff. But let's go ahead to the park so I can walk and talk with you guys. Okay guys, so I'm not quite sure what time this park closes. But let's just walk and talk for a while been a long time since I've been here um, anyway what am I up to today um, just kind of been at the house with the family and stuff um, different type of feeling around the house oh they got a lake here lakes always low-key make me nervous though they're beautiful but in Florida you know you have to be careful around lakes because it can always be gators and snakes Ugh. can't stand snakes or gators either but I don't just see gators everywhere I go but I've seen a lot of snakes before uh yeah so anyways just trying to walk and clear my mind for me one of the things that I love to do is walk and be in nature they are some type of tennis court or something over there this park has really been upgraded and worked on anyways um when i did the little well it, it hasn't come yet but it'll be coming soon i did a video um where me and the kids went out to three different parks in one day <laughs> Yes, I was tired from that. Oh, wow. They put a little splash area. I definitely got to bring the kids here. They got a splash area. I remember when they first built that thing. That's cool. I'm going to bring the kids there. I don't know when. Maybe tomorrow. They were trying to work my nerves today. But anyway, let's go walking. Um... I remember when they first built that splash steam thing, Marcello had been working on a book of novel series called No Turning Back. Um, it's been a long time in the working for this one. Um, I did do some type of um, advertisement for it when I was in school for graphic design, but it has been a challenge trying to get the you know book typed up by me having carpal tunnel really challenging get the book typed up and then also trying to um get it out and published so that you know 
But um, I remember sitting right over there at the little splash area that they have there when I was first reading his book, when he first had finished it and sent it to me. We're gonna head over this bridge here, if we can. See, the kids having fun. I definitely need to bring the kids here. I love to see kids have fun. It makes you think about when you're, you know, back to your childhood. When you're a child having fun, it's like all those cares and things, the worries and stuff of the world, they don't really bother you when you're just having fun as a kid. Ooh, Jesus. Are common in this area. They could be dangerous and should not be approached. Frightened or fed, please give them respect. Ooh, Jesus. Maybe I don't want to go over there. I want to cross that lake, but I don't. <laughs> Girl, y'all got me scared. But that notice just scared the heck out of me. I wonder, can I drive around there? Are you able to drive to the other side? Oh, God. I'm talking about some snakes and gators are common. I don't know about that. How can I get around? Okay, we gonna try to get in the car and see, can we drive around? Y'all, please don't laugh at me. <laughs> but I love to see kids have fun because it's like, I don't know. It's just a, a better time in your life. That's the best time in your life. Most people, their childhood. Or you remember just playing pretend. And that brings me to when me and my sister, when we were kids, we used to play and pretend. I do have a Draw My Life series um, where I introduced myself to YouTube, reintroduced myself because I had been on YouTube for a long time. And then I ended up um, going back to YouTube in 2020 during the shutdown. And I released that Draw My Life you know, series. And I talked about how we came from Florida to Chicago. And I didn't know that I had a sister. It wasn't until I was six or so. I don't even know when my mother one day was saying that your sister is coming to live with us. And I'm like, sister, like, are you pregnant? Not knowing that my mother, she wasn't pregnant, but, um, I met my older sister that I never knew, and she came to stay with us. Um, she was so beautiful. Like this is the that's one of the one things that you remember about her, that her beauty. She sort of looked like left eye, like when you put her picture and left eye right together, she looked just like left eye. Matter of fact, I do remember when. Um, Y'all remember when Left Eye had um, burnt down the guy's house, Rising, when she had burnt down his house? My mother was like, there's this girl on TV that looks just like, my sister's name is Shara, that looks just like Shara that burnt down somebody's house. Do you know who she is? And that's when they kept calling her Lopez. But back then, I didn't know, you know, oh, this is so beautiful. I didn't know the trees and stuff there. I did not know. Oh, that's a baseball field. Wow. I did not know that last name was Lopez because, of course, y'all know we knew her by left eye. All right. So, um, that's how she looked. She was so pretty. She had pretty smooth skin, about the same complexion as um, left eye. Uh, she had beautiful hair. Uh, it was long at one point. She had the long ponytails, girl. I couldn't, they could never get my hair to grow, so I didn't have the cute long ponytails. I had the little pigtails that be on top of my head. If I could find a picture of us, I'll um, put that in the description box. But, um, yeah, she was so beautiful. And y'all know I went through my ugly duckling stages, which I'm probably back in one. <laughs> 
Girl, I ain't got time to do nothing to myself. So, back in the day, y'all know that um, I had the issue where I fell on my face and became Scarface. All the kids made fun of me and stuff. And my sister was there right with me during that time that I fell on my face. That was during middle school. And I remember playing outside with my other sister. And I had made this homemade skateboard. Oh, they got volleyball over there. Wow. We are definitely going to have to get some equipment. Because we just seen that. Oh, wow. We had just seen that um, tennis. That tennis um, park. So, volleyball, tennis, yes. We need to get out. People here. Wow. Anyway, so I w when I came in from falling on my face, my sister immediately, Kristen, I have that as um, I was doing my life story on something called Wattpad, and I read to y'all the first two chapters. I can link that in the description box as well. Your girl got them writing skills for real. For real. <laughs> so I had wrote the first two stories of that. Um, chapters of my life back then and in it I just tell the story of how I became Scarface or whatever that really affected my life there ain't nobody over there playing Juju and the kids they sure would have been tearing that playground up but um I had um told that story about how I became Scarface um, it's the time that I was being bullied like I did not want to go to school I was I hated school oh my gosh um, but I think also during this time it made me a better person it made me a person that sees past the outward appearance of people it made me a person that sees people for who they really are um, made me a less judgmental person it made me it, it's so many different things that it did it had good and bad to it and it made me a person that really truly just doesn't care how other people feel about me which I think I had to have learned that because if I had really cared what people thought about me I could not do the things that I do like as far as fighting for justice or um, even like my crazy hair pieces, if I truly, really cared how people felt and thought about me, there would be no way for me to be out in that bold and doing stuff like that. And then with fighting for prison reform, you know what I mean? Like you have to be, most people are thinking about other people's feelings or, oh, are they going to think that I feel this, the right way or the correct or the political way or, you know politically correct way whatever girl I feel how I feel if you don't feel how I feel that's fine because we're not all meant to feel the same way we were not all made from the same um mold so how could we all feel the same freaking goddamn way but oh there's a stadium over there wow but yeah that molded a lot in my life but i remember after falling on my face that day and i looked i felt like i looked like a freaking monster sister my beautiful sister that i always wanted to be like that i wanted to wear my hair like that everyone was popular everybody loved her she told me kita you're you're still beautiful that scar does not define you and that also reminds me of another very pivotal moment in my life. When I had money, which I don't know, I grew up in a church. And the thing is that my mother was a Sunday school teacher. Um, my parents, they were really like active in the church. And when your parents are like pillars in the church, um, everything that their children do kind of reflects on them. So the thing is, when my child came and basically out of wedlock, you know, they all know that story. Um, I kind of stopped going to church. 
I was like, no, I'm not going to church because basically I did the wrong thing. They got a whole nother playground over there. God, they got everything. Okay, sorry guys, I had a shit with y'all and didn't know that the recording had stopped. <laughs> Anyway, so when your parents are like pillars in the church or whatever, they kind of overjudge the children. Like, you're held to a different standard. Almost like, you know, pre preacher's kids and stuff like that. Though my parents weren't preachers, my mother was really relevant in the church. She was a trustee. She was in the choir, several different choirs. She was a Sunday school teacher. She did so much. Uh, my father as well, he, he construction worker, helped build mo a whole bunch of stuff on that church. And they were basically, I was held to a different standard because I was Miss Dixon's daughter. I was Mr. Dixon's daughter. And basically, you know, you're held to a different standard. So here I am pregnant out of wedlock. And I just, it was just this veil of shame that was over me. So I had kind of stopped going to church or whatever because I didn't want that. Um, hey, maybe I could go sit over there. That bench is open now to sit over by the lake. Girl, I'm kind of scared, low key. <laughs> Something crawl up out that lake real quick. Oof, I probably can't even run that fast no more. <laughs> anyway, so um, I was, I talked to my sister and she was like, Kita. You're not the first young girl to have a baby out of wedlock. And most likely, beautiful flowers and stuff, trees. She's like, most likely, Kita, you are not going to be the last. So after speaking to her, I held my head up. I gained my confidence and I went back to church. And yes, I'm sure many people were talking about me behind my back oh there go miss dixon daughter and she got pregnant out of them blah, blah, blah. then a baby daddy up in prison and all that other stuff but you know what i went back and i didn't care what they had to say about it and that was because of you know the talk that my sister had with me basically okay so in fast forward to Okay, fast forward to, so my sister ended up leaving in, two, not 2006, in 1996, and she moved back to Chicago after her graduation. Um, in 2003, she came here. 2003, I would have been 21 going on 22, which would have made my, myself, my daughter about one going on two. And then my sister, so she was five years older than me. If I was 21, going on 22. Oh, shoot, she was going on 27. Yeah, so I remember that when she came down here to visit. Um, I think the cha-cha slide had first came out. Girl, do you know? Here go this lady. Ooh, beautiful from afar. So we gonna sit on that bench right there. And we gonna hope don't nothing come up out that lake. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a scaredy cat. Whew. But it is beautiful. Okay, so the thing was that she came down here to visit my dad. And basically, oh yeah, I was telling you about the cha-cha slide had just came out. And you could tell, I knew when I heard that song that it was a Chicago song. Because basically... You know, Chicago has a different type of musical flow than other places. And you could just tell the whole vibe of that song was from Chicago. I remember that video being out. And I remember my sister, oh no, these gnats are all over my face. So I remember my sister coming here and like, hey, y'all know how to do the cha-cha slide and this and that. So I could just see her doing that. Like she loved that cha-cha slide. And then she had a daughter. She had a young daughter with her. Um, I think her daughter would have been, whew, so she's about the age of my little sisters, which girl, I forget how old they is. <laughs> I have to do um, math and all that to figure out how old everybody is. Because, okay, so there's a bird. 
Come on, flying away. Such freedom to fly away. Okay, so if I'm about 15 years older than one of my little sisters and I am 17 years older than the other. So I'm 41. Oh, I'm trying to do this math fast, y'all. 41. So 31 would be 10 years. 25. So she's probably about 25, 26 now, girl, which would make. I don't know whatever so she had a young daughter with her and I remember around that time she would always have her daughter dance to double dutch bus <laughs> I don't know that was one of her favorite songs okay so around that time y'all know Missy Elliott had remade double dutch bus so I remember she would have her daughter get up and do oh come on now you gotta do it you, you know how when your kids do something cute you gotta have them do it for everybody okay so anyways look like it's gonna rain i'm trying to get a nice pretty view as i tell the story and i'm trying to keep my hand from hurting because that corporal tunnel <laughs> but anyways i remember that and she came down here and at the end of the trip down here um i think they went to you know the regular stuff going to disney going to whatever attractions they have we have a lot going on here in orlando and we got way more than we used to have like ugh, orlando didn't change so much but she came down here and at the end of the trip she was telling my dad that she had some you know not so good news and that's when um we found out that she had ms 27 years old beautiful young lady beautiful 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 okay so the conversation she had with me was that you know it's going to be okay because she's on different medications that's going to slow the process or progress of it and she's going to be fine you know yeah she's going to be fine that was 2003. In 2009, she came down here to live with us. 2009, she decided she was moving here. Um, she, by then, was in a wheelchair, but she could stand up. She could stand up out of her wheelchair, like, and she would like stand in front of the stove. And I do remember her wanting to cook for us, so she made some spaghetti. And y'all know I don't know zilch about cooking because I never had to cook. <laughs> Every time my mama would try to teach me how to cook, I would exit left to the nearest, you know, exit. And I was more interested. It was just, I was more interested in art, like cutting up something or creating something. And then when I got older, it became doing different hairstyles. I never caught on to freaking cooking, I guess just because it was never a interest of mine. So my my time is going to be out soon. So I'm going to have to wrap this up. Anyways, yeah, the beautiful lake again. See how serene it just looks. Peaceful. It's like my sister now. She's at peace. At peace. Oh. Anyways, record that going into Barnett Park. All right. So we're going to go back to the splash area. It's a little area where the kids can have a little bit of fun on this hot summer day. John want to see the BMX bikes. And they got some that you can sit on. Yeah, and watch them. You might can get, I don't know, do they let other people ride their bikes on there? Or just only the BMX bikers? No, but they might let regular people ride their bikes. I can't ride heels. You can't? I thought it was fun. Oh, but not big heels because... I think I could try to ride his um, 
skateboard on it, but I don't think you can ride the skateboard on uh, dirt. Okay. Let's let Juju go change. Come on, little Juju. On. Go to the potty Can't and change. You needed all it. You didn't need your towel and stuff. Okay, come on. Go and change real quick. Okay, come on. Let's go, guys. Okay, come on. Pine cone, you want it? Yeah. We used to pick up pine cones when we were kids. Okay. Okay, come on. Let's go. Why y'all want to pick pine cones? Pine things when y'all was kids? That's just stuff that we used to do as kids. Kids would do stuff like that. No, I'm not kidding. We're not kids no more. <laughs> okay, so we gotta head back to the car because I know Marcello gonna call. I, I left my phone. Mind the car? No, I needed it. But you didn't change your shoes. Your shoes on the wrong feet too. Juju. Now, make a U-turn. Stop, stop, stop Y'all see it up there, the splash? No. Area. You don't see all that water going right there. I got the yeah, yeah, I see the ducks. Go this way, Rye. And it's beautiful. It's like nature. Yeah. <laughs> he almost let her get slumped in the thing. Somebody using that table. Look at them. Kitty's playing, having fun.